guitar and excel open chords c major scale d minor two chord worksheet get ready because it's time for our guitar skills to excel here we are in excel if you don't have access to this workbook that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet but we started in a prior presentation so if you want to build this from a blank worksheet you may want to begin back there however you don't necessarily need access to this workbook if looking at this from a music theory standpoint because we will simply use it as a tool to map out the fretboard give us the scale and chords that we're focused in on if you do have access to this workbook though, there's currently five tabs down below. We've got three example tabs or four example tabs at this point and an OG tab. We'll be creating a new tab to the right, which is what we'll be working on this time. The OG tab representing the original worksheet we put together in a prior section, it now acting as our starting point going forward mapping out the entire fretboard giving us our entire musical alphabet both in terms of letters numbers and combining them to have the letters and the numbers giving us a key allowing us to change the scales that we are in by changing this green cell providing the worksheets on the right hand side which gives us the scales and chords we're working in we then wanted to focus on the C major scale, the positions on the guitar in open position, and then put together the chords that we can construct from the C major scale, starting with, of course, the one chord, which is the C chord. So that's going to be this first tab. We then minimized our worksheet or hit a bunch of cells so we can see just the open positions. I'm defining that as frets zero through three, mapped out the shape of the chord we were mapping on, C in this case, and then we went in depth describing that chord on the fretboard. We did a similar type of process for the F chord, skipping not to the two chord, but then moving to the five chord. Why? Because the one, I'm sorry, moving to the four chord, because the one, four, five are gonna all be major chords constructed from the C major scale. We did a similar process then moving to the five chord, which is the G, again doing so because that's also going to be a major chord that will be constructed. Now we're going to go back to the two chord, which is a minor chord. So we went, we started at the one, we then went to the four, we went to the five, because they're going to be similar in nature because they're going to all be majors. Now we're going to go back to the two and we're going to look at the two, the three and the six, which will all be similar in nature because they're going to be minor constructions and the major, <laughs> well, the, the big difference that you'll see between the major and the minor is going to be the interval will not be four on this three chord. It will be three. So, uh, and so that's what we want to start to recognize. And once you recognize that, it'll be a lot easier to, to kind of construct these chords and, and make these movable shapes up and down the guitar. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy over the OG tab, and then we're just going to set up our worksheet this time. If you don't, if you're not really into Excel, you, you could just watch this to see the music theory component of it as we construct it. And then we'll use this worksheet to then uh, think about the, the two chord in more depth uh, in the future. So we're going to copy this the OG tab over. We're going to hide a bunch of cells so we can see the open positions, which are going to be defined. I'm defining as zero through three on the fretboard, remembering that the low or heavy string is the string that we're going to say is uh, the top string here. That's how we're visualizing this because I think that's the easiest way to visualize in our mind. And then we'll map out the pentatonic scale on top of it and then we'll map out the major scale the key of c by the way uh scales so we could see its relation to the key of c and then we'll map it out a few different ways down below so let's get to it we got a lot to do here we're going to go to the og tab i'm going to copy it over so i'm going to hold down control left click on the og tab and drag it to the right and so then i'm going to change the name i'm going to double click down here i changed the names to be a little bit more detailed now down below so i'm going to say this is going to be practice i'm going to say this time d minor and i'm putting a small m because sometimes people rep represent majors with a large m and a, and a minor with a small m as a convention i'm going to call it a two chord because it's the two chord of the key of c that we're working on 
I'm also going to make it blue down here. If you don't have this blue down there, I, I like to make it that blue. You can make it any blue you want, but that's the blue. You know how you know how I've gotten into the habit of using that blue and that blue sticks with me, man. So that's what I use. So then we have this. So now what I'd like to do is copy over the first part of the worksheet all the way down because you'll recall that this worksheet gives us the the major and then the minors are going to be to the right or the relative modes are to the right and we also have the relative modes that are in the same key or starting on the same note down below but what i want to have is a repetition of just the major stuff over and over so i can look at the fretboard multiple times uh, in relation to the major scale so I'm going to remove this conditional formatting and just copy over this major bit. So I'm going to go up top, home tab, uh, styles, and remove the conditional formatting. Rules, clear the rules. There are no rules here, no rules. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm just going to put this on the side because I would like to have that somewhere over here. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy. I'm going to put my cursor on the one, copy the rows all the way down till I get to number 25. I'm just copying it down to the bottom of this table. Control C or right click and copy. And I'm just going to paste it right on top of all these other worksheets. Control V or paste. Control V or paste. Control V or paste. Control V. And I think one more time. Control V and then, oh, there's one more. Control V, and there we have it. Okay, so now I'm going to go back up top. So now we have a repetition of just this first this first bit, which will keep on repeating the major scale, which has been constructed in the key of C, noted by the four here, which represents the C chord. So now I'm going to go back in and say, okay, I just want to first start off by just looking at frets one to three. So I'm going to hide frets four, so I'm going to put my cursor on F and I'm going to hide the frets from four all the way out to my worksheet over here and then right click and hide that stuff. So now we've got our worksheet right next to our fretboard. I could scroll in a little bit, holding down control, scrolling in. I don't need the number ones, even though if I could see it just by the numbers, I hope you can see how much nicer that would be to, than to look at that than this. If I can interpret the fretboard with just numbers, then in some cases that will be a lot easier to envision in my mind and do little math calculations than with, with the letters here. This gets a lot messy. Even if I didn't have the numbers and I only had the letters, the sharps and flats get really ugly. <laughs> they get really ugly, okay? I'm not trying to put down the whole musical system, but like it's still it's kind of messy still sharps and flats are kind of messy sometimes if you just had a number you know you can kind of visualize it, it might be worth doing just from time there's pros and cons okay pros and cons but i'm going to hide from one down to 12 right click and hide and then i'm going to hide all of the ones that are that are like so i'm going to go to the bottom of this blue right here and i'm going to hide from here down to here and well, let's just go all the way down to here right click and hide and then i'm going to do that again i'll say let's hide from actually well yeah let's keep that system I'll, I'll go from the bottom of this blue right there and i'll hide from here ah it's too fast down to here and then right click and hide i'm going to scroll out a little bit so i can see a little bit more easily holding control, scrolling out. I'm going to go from this cell and I'm going to hide from here down to here, right click and hide. And then scrolling down again from here down to here, right click and hide. And then we're not deleting them. Of course, don't delete them. That'll mess up the whole thing. The whole thing will be messed up. Right click and hide. And then I think one more time, uno vase mas por favor, right click and hide. And I think that's it. Scrolling back up to the top, back to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to put one of these boxes around and let, let me grab one from the OG tab. I thought I would have one here. I thought I, let's copy like this bracket thing and put it over here. 
and we're focused on the two chord. So I'll put it here, grabbing all the way over to the Greek number so we can see that it's a minor chord. And then I'm gonna map out the one, three, five, just as we did before. So I'll start off, but just mapping it out so we can have that and we can analyze it in future presentation. So I'm gonna select, this is the nut with the black here. And then this is all of the, of the frets from zero to three. And let's map it out by going to the home tab, styles. And I'm gonna say, if what is on that fretboard, if it is equal to the one, in this case, the one of this D minor chord, if it's equal to that, I wanna make it green because that's gonna be the root. And then if it's equal to conditional formatting, if it's equal to the F, make it red, which is the default. And then if it's equal to conditional formatting, the A, make it yellow, make it yellow, por favor. And there we have our uh, shape. This is going to be the D minor shape. So this is our uh, D minor shape. You're usually gonna look at it like here. So we have that open note right there. And then you're gonna be holding, you're probably not gonna play you're not gonna be holding down that F, right? It's gonna be there, this one, this one, this one, this one, right? So we'll talk about that later. So your fingers are gonna go boom, boom, and boom, and then you ring this one out open. And then you could play that A and the F if you wanted to ring them out, or you can mute them so you have more D on the low, on the low end of the D. All right, so then let's conditional format these back. I'm gonna to go to the home tab, format paintbrush to that D. And then I'm gonna go back here to uh, the F and format paintbrush to the F. And I'm gonna go back here to the A and format paintbrush that to the A. A, A, all right, anyway. Let's go down and now I'm gonna do the same thing this time, but now I'm going to put it on top of the pentatonic scale in the key of C. So remembering that when we look at this two chord, uh, when I name it the one, three, five, as we did here, the one, three, five, we're naming it in relation to it as though it was the, the root note. Let me give a quick note on that. We'll talk more about that later. But if I go to the OG tab over here and I say, now I wanna look at a minor just to compare it. How can I do that on my worksheet? Well, I could change this four to a six, which is the D, that gives me the major up top, but I wanna look at the minor and I put all the, but I put all the minors that have the same root note below. So underneath it, we have the minor. So here's the minor. Uh, so now we have D minor or Aeolian. And you can see that now it's the one chord uh, in a, in the, if, this was a, if this was the D minor and the one, three, five of that chord is a D, F, A. If I go back on over here, D, F, A. So that's, but we're also defining it as the third being an interval from the one of not four, but three, uh, because it's a, it's a hole and a half step, if you want to think about it that way. Uh, and that differentiates it. That's just how it happened to be when we constructed it from, from the C, but we think about it as as the third being uh, a, a minor third away, three notes instead of a major. Okay, so now I'm but now I'm going to think about it on top of the C uh, the C pentatonic. Remember that the pentatonic only has three out of the seven notes. So I'm going to select my notes over here. It has one, two, three, and then it has the five and the six. I'm going to make those green. Home tab, font group. Uh, letters make those green and then so I'm going to make these green to show us the pentatonic and then I'll put on top of it uh, these notes and you'll note that they won't all fit inside the pentatonic scale for the key of C they would fit inside the pentatonic scale if we constructed it related to you know the D minor uh, but no we're looking at we're looking at constructing it from the key of C here. They will fit when we get into the major because we'll, we'll add the notes that are missing. So this F in particular is gonna be sticking out from uh, this pentatonic. So if you're playing in terms of a pentatonic scale, you can noodle around and then you can think about it as I'm playing the pentatonic and adding the F 
right in there because I'm on the two chord, right? If, they, if you wanted to think about it that way. But let's first just map out all the pentatonics. Home tab, uh, style, drop down. We're going to make them all green. I'm going to say pentatonic. This is the part of the pentatonic that C. Let's make it green. I'm going to make a custom green and I'm going to make it fill color green. Let's make it the dark green. Boom. And then I'm going to keep doing that all the way down. Another one equal to that D, dropping it down, custom color, dark green, OK, and OK, dropping it down again, equal to that E, drop down, custom color, dark green, OK. Now this time I'm skipping the F and I'm going to go to the G because there is no F. We're talking pentatonic, which takes out the four and the seven because they're just not cool enough to hang with the crowd they're not or maybe they're too cool to be with the crowd i don't know i don't know who ki did the pentatonic kick them out or were they like i don't want to be part of your group because you guys are lame i don't know how it worked but in any case they're not included so there we have it so there's our pentatonic that we have been seeing because we're mapping it out in the key of c every time so boom, 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 boom. You can start to learn to play that shape if you wanted. And then if you're saying, I'm going to the two chord, then you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to add the F on top of it if I'm thinking pentatonic because I'm playing the two chord, which has the note in the, the major scale, but it's outside of the pentatonic scale. If I'm thinking about the pentatonic scale in the key of C rather than thinking about it in the key of the D minor. Okay. So then let's add that one. And so this is going to be uh, equal to, let's put our, our D on top of this, making that the root, which is going to be green. And then the F, this is the one that's going to be the odd ball out is odd. The ball is odd. Let's do that. You have an odd ball. What is it, a football? Because it, it's shaped weird. It's an odd ball. Footballs are odd balls. The golf balls are odd balls because they have little divots in them for some reason, which is kind of strange. They're really small. It's an odd ball. I'm going to put the, let's go to the home tab and format paint this over here and then format paint this over here and then format paint this over here. And then we'll just show with a bracket that that F is sticking outside of my normal pentatonic shape. Let's make it a different color. Make it not a fill color. Let's make it yellow. So the Fs are, you got the pentatonic in the key of C and then the F hanging on, hanging out there that you can pick up if you want to, if you want to look at it that way. Then we can bring it on down and say, let's do the whole major scale in the key of C. And then the, pen, then the chord will fit inside the major scale. So I'm going to make the major scale all blue this time. Make it all blue because that's what we've been doing before. Home tab, style. I'm going to make the whole thing blue so we can see the whole shape now. Not just the five notes, but all the notes. All the notes are going to be in this one this time. I'm not leaving anyone out. You have to come. But the, but the four and the seven are too cool. They don't want to show up. You have to show up this time four and seven where did the thing go uh what is going on here let's undo that undo all right let's do it again so conditional formatting boom and then this is going to be green oh no let's make it blue this whole thing blue first i got distracted and then i'm going to hit the drop down and we're going to say the D also blue. Everything's blue. Everything's blue. We're, we're wearing the same uniforms this time. We have the team jersey on. Team jersey for the entire C major scale. Everyone's on. Everyone's got to be looking the same. Because we're on the team together. F is going to be here. And then, okay. And then G is going to be blue as well. And then OK. And then we're going to say A is going to be blue too. And then OK. And then we've got the 
B is going to be blue. And then, oh no, that's not blue. That's not blue. B is not red. You're not special. You're not special, B. Okay? You're blue just like everyone else. But I don't want, I don't like blue. It doesn't go with my eyes. Whatever. Whatever. No one cares. Okay. So now you can start to memorize that shape. Uh, if you if you so choose, right? You can see the pentatonic shape is kind of inside of that shape. And then if we were to put uh, if we were to put these on top of that, it'll fit. The F is in there now, right? So you got boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's put the the chord on top of it. Styles. We're gonna say the D. Let's make that green, as has been our custom, and then. We'll say that we have the F is going to be red. And then we've got the A is going to be yellow. Yeller bellied A. It's not yeller bellied. There's nothing wrong with having a yeller belly. I had, I had a friend's dog that had a yellow belly and it was a very brave dog. Okay. Stop making fun of people with yellow bellies anyways so there we have it so now you can see again the d this d fits in there boom boom you know boom 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 beautifully and these are going to be the fingers that we would hold down ringing out that d up top and it fits inside the c major because of course we constructed it by starting at the two note and taking every other note from the c to uh to four two six but we don't call it a two four six in the key of c you could but we call it a one four five as though the d is the starting point and the 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 uh, i'm sorry we call it the one three five and then the three is now a minor a minor distance away which is instead of four notes away it's three notes away or a whole step and a half step all right let's do the same thing this time but we're going to build the 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 base of of the majors and then we'll put the pentatonic on top of it and then we'll put the the scale on top of that that'll be a good exercise so we can really see how this stuff kind of sits on top of each other and fits together like a puzzle it's like sudoku all right it's so let's do the whole thing again i'm going to do the whole major thing again and then i'll put the pentatonic on top of it so we can see that so the ground floor pentatonic bottom bass line i'm sorry bass line is going to be the major the major scale on the bass focus so we're going to do the whole blue thing again everyone's got the same jersey to start out with and then we're going to differentiate because everybody's got their own special positions that they need to play so then we're going to after we get everybody on the same team we're going to change the jersey colors to represent the different the different positions that people are going to do when they're when they're in the game so this is going to be equal to uh so we have have the d did i pick up the e we're on no we're on the f yes f and then okay and then g picking up the g and okay okay and then we'll pick up the a okay 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 and then we'll pick up the b and so that's the whole team oh but the b tried to be special again we're not switching your jersey yet b you're blue you're not even gonna switch your jersey it is what but i don't like blue whatever that's the, that's what it's not your choice you're part of the team now we're going to make the now. So that's our normal shape again for the whole thing. Now let's put the pentatonic on top of it, changing the colors to green for the pentatonic. So we can see how it overlays and it'll fit perfectly on top because this is the C major. And we're going to just going to remove. We're just going to take all of them except for these two and lay on top of it the pentatonic. So the pentatonic will just be the C. Let's make it green now. And we're going to make it green. And then we're going to say, okay. And then we'll say that the D 
is going to be green. The D is going to be green. Boom. And then we'll say that the E is going to be green. It's going to be green. And then skipping four, skipping the F, going to the G, which is going to be green. It's going to be green. And then finally the A. Not you, B. Not you. The A is going to be green. Why does the A get to be green when I have to stay blue? It's not, this is how it works. You're good at that position. You have to be there even though you don't want to. Okay, so then we're going to, then we're going to put on top of that these three. So now you can see the pentatonic, the added two notes in the major are now blue. And then on top of that, we'll put this here, noting that the F is going to stick out. It's in, it's in the major scale, but it's not in the pentatonic because the pentatonic scale is being made from the C rather than being made from the related pentatonic scale for a D minor, right? Okay, so let's do that. We're going to say, okay, let's say this is going to be equal to the D and that's going to be green. Okay, and then this is going to be equal to the F. And then this is going to be equal to the A, and it's going to be yellow. All right, and then I'll put those colors over here. Format, paint it back on over. Format, paint this back on over. And format, paint this back on over, eh? Eh? All right. Uh, and then we can note that these... F's are sticking out as kind of outside of the pentatonic. I'll make them yeller. Old yeller. All right. We had a dog named Young Yeller. We tried to tell him to stop yelling, but he never did. I was hoping to change his name to not yeller. But then he just got old. He kept yelling, so I had to change his name to Old Yeller. My neighbors hated that dog. Anyways, no one cares. Let's get back in the swing of things. Got to get back in the swing of things. I hate when things aren't swinging right. Those things start to feel uncomfortable. So you got to get the things. No one likes when their things aren't are uncomfortable due to the lack of swing. So let's get back into it. We're going to say, let's unhide this now. I'm going to go from D to AK right click and unhide and so so now what i'd like to do is map out and say well what if i moved this position so let's hide from columns 12 on the fretboard so we could see a bit more of the fretboard and then go back on over here and right click and hide and then uh let's then so now we're going to say okay if I wanted to move this position up, which we'll talk more about later, but just note that the ones that are similar here are the, the minors now, which is the two, uh, the three, and the six. And then you've got the diminished, which is still lowercase because it's kind of like a minor and that it's got like a minor third, but then it has a diminished, it has a, a flat fifth. So we'll talk about it separately. It's its own kind of thing. So then, so let's say then that if we do that, then uh, we can say the one is still going to be over here. So let's map that out over here, just like we did before, just looking at the notes uh, D, F, and A. So I'm going to say, all right, let's just map this piece of the fretboard right there and map it out. And I'm going to say uh, home tab, conditional formatting, and we'll say this is going to be equal to and we'll say this is equal to the D, which is green. And then this is going to be equal to the F, which is red. And then this is going to be equal to the A, which is yellow. So there's that bit of the fretboard. And then this bit, I'm going to make a different color and say, if I move that up, let's make it yellow and copy that. I can think of the root of this as being that uh, D right there. Oh, oh, I'm going to say the root 
is going to be this D. So if I look for the next one up, which is an E, it's, it's right there. It's two notes up because we're going from the two to the three. So it's two notes up. So it actually starts right there. So you have some overlap. So if you're playing this on the guitar, you could move this shape up, which is a little bit kind of difficult because because this is an open string so you'd have to adjust your fingering or you just play these three notes down here noting that then you might be looking at this uh you know you'd be looking at this as the root that you're moving up to here right so let's i'm gonna make this just blue so we could see a different color in here so i'm gonna make them blue just so we don't overlap these colors so i'm gonna say this is just gonna be blue and we'll say that's going to be the E. I'll just make all of them blue. So we'll say blue and then OK. And then boom, this is going to be blue. And then boom. And then this is going to be uh, blue. And then uh, hold on. Hold on a second. It's that B again. I don't want to be blue just for crying out loud it doesn't even matter Ugh. all right so now you can see these shapes on top of each other here and so you can move this shape up we'll talk more about it in a future presentation we're not really getting into too much the movingness of the shapes but i just want to show you that you know if you wanted to play with that you can you can move those up and then of course we can move it up to the six. So if I'm looking at this as my leading note, I now want to find an A on that string. So I'm going to go boom, 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 boom. There's the A. Or if I'm looking at this E as my leading note, because that's what I'm fingering, I'm going to move up till I find the A. And then I'm going to make my shape around the A. So there we go uh, right here. So let me, let me see it this way. The E to the A. So there we have it. So now let's, I'll, I'll map this out and we'll say, let's map this one out. If we moved it up here, we would be playing the same shape, which would be being an A as the root, making it green. I'm gonna make it green, that would be the root here. And then we would be playing equal to the C, it's gonna be red and then equal to the E, uh, which is gonna be yellow. So you can so you can play this shape. If you get good at the shape, you can kind of noodle around with it. But if you're just noodling around and you can move it up from the two to the three to the six. So you can play the one, four, five together. You can play the two, uh, the, the three and the six together. Now, note when you play the two, the three and the six together, it's you're, it's almost useful to play in the in the related minor scale. So you might want to think about it as the A is your root and then if you so for example this d e and a if i looked at the related minor uh which is an a then if you saw it this way and you say the a is the related minor now you're in an a one four five which are all minors which is a good way to think about it when you're playing you practice on the majors by playing the one, four, five in the key of C. And when you play the minors, you can think about it as playing the two, three, six, but you probably want to think about the six as the root because that means you're playing in the related minor. And if you flip the related minor scale, so you look at it in its mode of the Aeolian or related minor, you will once again be playing, uh, you'll be playing the one, four, five the same one, four, five, but now they'll all be minor because you flipped it, you flipped it that way. In other words, you could, you could play it so that this two is your, is your center point, but then you're playing uh, in like a Dorian, which is cool, but it's probably not as common as to be thinking of this as the root, which would be playing in the related minor, which is in this case would be the A minor. So we might talk about that more later, but you can then so then you can move these up and do it like that so let's go ahead and make this format paint this to green and then format paint this to uh that color the color that it is which is red i know that color i know the name of that color and let's make all of these blue 
these are the blue ones and then this one let's make that green and why is it not grabbing the format pane at green i'm running long on time here you're running long on time you're breaking your own rules man you're breaking your own rules you got to get out of here okay i have plenty of time let's do this all right then the next thing is that we might want to see it what if i was trying to compare it to to making this a d minor like so instead of me looking at the related uh minor which is going to be the a let's think about this as the d minor because when i look at it from one three five of it of of the home i end up with a minor uh a, a minor chord which i can think constructed around the minor scale so the question is well how do i get to a d minor uh if let's go to the og tab and think about that for a second because if i if i'm on the four which is a c i can i can see the c worksheet over here has the related modes on the right hand side and and then down below i could see the related modes that are going to have the same starting note so underneath it you could see here that i have now a c uh, a c minor uh down down below what i'd like to do then is to create a worksheet where where i'm gonna i, I want to find the related major to a d minor so I could think about it this way. I could say, okay, well, here's my C as my major. The related minor is the A, right? I could, I could tell that by going to the right and saying, okay, the minor is over here. Here's the minor uh, and there's the A. It's related to the major because it's the sixth note and I start it as the mode. So so what? So I would, I would think of a, a similar relationship if I said this was the six, then now I've got the, the the uh chords that are in the key of d here's the major and down below it i've got the minor so here's the minor starting with a d and the related major to that then is going to be the f it's going to be the f let me and, and if i double check that i can say okay well what if i was in the key of f which is a nine if i was in the key of f there's the nine then the related minor is this d which is on the sixth it should the relation should be the six right so so okay so it looks like what i need to do is construct it in the key of f because what i so let me show you what i mean i'm going to go back on over here and i'm going to say all right let's unhide from l to ak right click and unhide and i'm going to make my worksheet in the key of f so i have to unhide some cells above it so i can see my numbering to find that green key unhide and i'm going to make that green key an f which is a nine so now it's in the key of f so now i've got my majors up top so here's my major but to the right of it i have the related minor which is now in the key of d now, the reason I want it to the right is because now I can construct my fretboard on top of each other and kind of compare this minor to its related major. So now I'm going to hide from uh, B, H over to my fretboard, hiding over to column 12 or fret 12, right click and hide. Okay, so then I'm going to go, okay, so now I can look at this let's hide this stuff too so i'm going to hide from here down to here because i don't need the number stuff and so we'll hide that right click and hide that okay <clears throat> so now i'm gonna let's copy one of these and bring it down and so if you were to look at this uh as though it's in the minor the the d minor just so you can show it as a movable shape uh as though it's the one four five in a minor so now i can say okay uh now i've got the the minor the d minor okay i see a problem with my worksheet here so just note uh th these these notes these are coming from up top 
and these are are there's so let me unhide i'm going to fix my worksheet i got a bit of an issue with the worksheet so let's go ahead and unhide i'm going to go from here to here right click and unhide and i'm going to say okay what is going on here k okay, esta pasando and so these are pulling from the wrong place and they're using this crazy formula i want to pull so i'm going to unhide these unhide and then major and the minor these should be pulling from the related minor so i'm going to say equals if this is a little tedious i'll try to fix the worksheet so you could so you don't have to do this but the related minor is here so i'll just pull it from this one boom and this should be the copy that down and so so now you've got the one four five are all minor so down here the one uh uh the one four five should be minor so i'll try to fix that on my master worksheet as well so when we copy it over in the future we don't have to do that again so now let's hide from here over to the minors so here to the minor right click and hide and then uh hold on a second undo let's do that again i'm going to go from here to the minor right click and hide all right and then i'm going to hide these ones up above i've been skipping two cells so i'm going to hide from here to here right click and hide so i think everything is good now so i'm going to say okay so now we've got the point is we've got the one four five that you can look at this way as well if you saw it in the key of the minor so if i was to say okay let's copy this and put it over here and on this position i'm going to i'm going to select the entire fretboard and construct it uh for the major scale i mean the whole scale that's in the key of now uh d minor so i'm going to say okay let's conditional format boom I'm going to make the whole thing blue, dropping it down, make it blue. Okay. And then dropping it down, making the E blue and then okay. And then okay. And then dropping it down and making the F blue. Boom. Okay. 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 Dropping it down and then making the G blue. Boom okay 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 and then dropping it down making the a blue boom okay 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 and then dropping it down making the uh a sharp blue whoop that's not blue okay 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 and then uno vase moss with the c and so now you can see you have a different a different array of shapes but this will still fit in that shape so so now i'm just going to select this area for my first position and say this is going to be equal to the one which i'm going to make green and then i'm going to say boom conditional formatting the four which is going to be uh red which is there by default and then conditional formatting the five which i'm going to make uh yellow yellow and so then it fits into that shape now if i was to i won't compare it right now we'll do that later but if i compare this shape to the shape we had up top when we constructed it in the key of c uh then you can see the blue notes will not all be the same but this shape still fits inside of it uh and so i just want to point that out and then you can move this shape up so let's let's do this is going to be green 
this is going to be red and this is going to be yellow a and then if i move this up looking at this note the d moving it up to like i get to the g which is going to be the four that would be the four chord if i'm thinking about it in the key of d minor now so let's select these and make the four chord so i'm going to say this will be uh boom this one is going to be this note that's going to be the green that'll be the root and then we're going to say this is going to be equal to this note that'll be red and this will be equal to this note and that will be yellow and then i'll make this border let's make that a different color let's make it yellow and let's make this one yellow and then let's conditional format back over boom and then boom and then boom and then if i moved it up to the five we're going to say i'm just going to look for that g and move it up a whole step to an a now to get to the one four five if i was thinking of it in the key of d let's make that green red yellow green it's rastafari colors i rasti far i don't know anyway uh let's just put some green brackets around that one so if i was in here let's put just like a green bracket around here it would be there and then we've got the c uh it would be an a and then we have a c here and then we have an e oh, oh uh, there's too many things an e happening right there and then we have another a so you can see how you can move it up from there just to show the movement of the shape okay we got the whole thing worked out now so i'm going to use this as a baseline to talk about it a little bit more in depth later hopefully i didn't mess it up too much i should change the og worksheet to change that uh, that numbering system in the greek i'm gonna hide some cells from uh well let's unhide so i can see the majors again so i'm going to put my cursor from l to b i right click unhide and then i'm going to hide from four to the majors so i don't have the minor because i want to focus on the majors first when i get into the next talk so there's our starting point we'll zoom it in a bit so we can focus in that's going to be our point to focus next time we'll talk about finger in it we'll talk about how it's related to the scales and how we can move it and stuff using this super cool worksheet that we put together.